Chemotherapy versus radiation, understanding cancer treatment options hey there, folks, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we've got a topic that's often at the forefront of cancer treatment discussions. Chemotherapy versus radiation. In this video, we're going to dive deep into these two crucial cancer treatment options. Whether you're facing a cancer diagnosis, supporting a loved one, or just curious about the differences, you're in the right place. Chemotherapy and radiation therapy are both common treatments for cancer, but they work differently and are used in different situations. Here's an overview of the key differences between chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Chemotherapy. Mechanism of action. Chemotherapy involves the use of drugs that are designed to target and kill rapidly dividing cells, including cancer cells. These drugs circulate throughout the body and can reach cancer cells in various parts of the body. Types of cancer treated. Chemotherapy is used to treat both solid tumors, such as breast, lung, and colon cancers, and blood cancers, such as leukemia and lymphoma. It can be effective against cancer that has spread to multiple parts of the body. Delivery method. Chemotherapy is typically administered intravenously, IV, but can also be given orally or through other methods, such as injections or topical creams. Side effects. Chemotherapy can have systemic side effects because it affects both cancerous and normal cells. Common side effects include nausea, vomiting, hair loss, fatigue, and suppression of the immune system. Duration. Chemotherapy is often administered in cycles, with periods of treatment followed by rest to allow the body to recover from side effects. Use in combination. It is frequently used in combination with surgery, radiation, or other treatments to increase its effectiveness. Radiation therapy. Mechanism of action. Radiation therapy uses high-energy rays, such as X-rays or protons, to target and damage the DNA of cancer cells, preventing them from dividing and growing. Unlike chemotherapy, radiation is localized and treats a specific area of the body. Types of cancer treated. Radiation therapy is commonly used to treat localized cancers, such as those in the breast, lung, prostate, and brain. It is also used as palliative care to relieve symptoms in advanced cancer cases. Delivery method. Radiation therapy is delivered externally, external beam radiation, or internally, brachytherapy, to the area where the tumor is located. Side effects. Side effects of radiation therapy are typically localized to the treatment area. Common side effects include skin changes, fatigue, and, depending on the area treated, difficulty swallowing or bowel changes. Duration. The duration of radiation therapy varies depending on the type and stage of cancer. It is usually given daily over several weeks. Use in combination. Radiation therapy can be used alone, before surgery, neoadjuvant therapy, after surgery, adjuvant therapy, or in combination with chemotherapy, depending on the specific treatment plan. In many cases, chemotherapy and radiation therapy are used in combination to maximize their effectiveness in treating cancer. The choice between these treatments depends on various factors, including the type of cancer, its stage, and the patient's overall health. Treatment decisions are typically made by a multidisciplinary team of healthcare professionals, including oncologists, radiologists, and surgeons, to tailor the approach to the individual patient's needs. And there you have it, a candid look at the good and evil of chemotherapy and radiation. Remember, these treatments are not without their challenges, but they've saved countless lives and continue to be critical tools in the fight against cancer. I hope this video has shed light on the complexities of cancer treatment and provided you with valuable insights. If you have any questions, personal experiences, or thoughts to share, please do so in the comments below. Your input can provide comfort and support to others going through similar journeys. Remember to consult with your doctor if you've any health issues. As always, thank you for joining us today. If you or someone you know is facing cancer, know that you're part of a resilient community, and there is hope and support available. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with your circle. 
Together, we can increase awareness, understanding, and empathy for those affected by cancer.